Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on recording the date and time when a cell value changes in Excel VBA. So I have here in this worksheet fictitious data, and I have this variable score, which is currently empty. And I want to create some code so that when I change a value in the score column, when I add a score, change a score, or delete a score, the date and time are recorded in column D. This can be accomplished with just one subroutine. And I'm going to move over to the Visual Basic Editor to put that in. It's Alt F11. And from the Visual Basic Editor, I'm going to select the sheet that I was working on, which is Record Time. I double click that sheet. I have this file name here, and this is Sheet 4. So to get started, I'm going to go up here to this first drop down and select Worksheet. And you see by default it has Selection Change. I'm going to move over here to the right drop down box and select Change. So this is the subroutine I want. Worksheet underscore Change by Value Target is Range. So I'm going to delete this other one. And I'll be working in this top one. I'm going to need to declare three variables for this subroutine. Dim target range is range, dim range is range, and dim C as integer. Then for setting the target range, I use this line of code. Set target range equals intersect application.activesheet.range and here I've used column C. Then comma target. So with this line of code using the C column, if I move back to the worksheet, you can see it is the score column. So if you need it to be a different column, you just set that in this line of code. Next I'm going to set the offset for the date and time to appear. In this case I just want it to appear one column to the right of the target range. So it'll be C equals 1. I'm going to use this variable in some code I'm going to put in in a moment. Next I'm going to use an if statement to determine if the target range has a value in it. And that's going to be if not target range is nothing then. I'm going to go ahead and put in the end if now and just move these over to the right a bit. So we have this conditional statement. So if that's satisfied, so if there is a value in the target range, I'm going to start with application dot enable events equals false. Next I'm going to start a for each loop. So this will be for each range in target range. So this will loop through all the cells in column C. And before I go further, I'm going to put the next here to close off that loop. So for each range in target range, next. Then inside this loop, I'm going to use another if statement. And this one's going to be if not VBA dot is empty range value then. So as it loops through all the cells in the target range, when a non-empty range is encountered, it's going to execute the code in this first part of the if then else statement. And we're going to have two lines of code here. The first is range dot offset. It's going to be zero rows and C, which is one, so zero rows and one column, dot value, equals now. And we want to format that as well. And that's going to be range dot offset, again, zero, comma C, zero rows and one column. And instead of dot value here, this is going to be dot number format equals and quotation mark. And this is where we put in the format 
for the date and time. So there are a number of options here. Uh, in this case, I want the day of the week spelled out, the month of the year spelled out, a two-digit date, four-digit year, hours, minutes, seconds, and a.m. p.m. So this would be four lowercase d's, comma, space, four lowercase m's, comma, space, two lowercase d's, space, four lowercase y's. So we have the day of the week spelled out, the month spelled out, the numeric date, two digits, and the numeric year, four digits, comma, two lowercase h's, colon, two lowercase m's, colon, two lowercase s's for hours, minutes, and seconds. And then for a.m. p.m., it'll be a.m. slash p.m. and quotation mark. So that's the format I'm using here that will come up in column D. So if we do not satisfy this condition, so if the range is empty, it's going to move to the next part of this function and run the code under the word else. And that's going to be range dot offset and again zero comma C dot clear contents. And then we'll have an end to the if statement, end if. And then after next, we want application dot enable events equals true. So I'm just going to copy application dot enable events equals false from up here. Control C and control V, paste it down here and just change this to true. And move this over a little. Under this statement, we have the end if that matches the first if statement. We can delete these extra spaces. And of course, the end of the subroutine. So let's see how this works looking at the worksheet. So for this first participant in the control group, I'm going to enter a score. In this case, I'm going to enter 41. You can see I put the value 41, and I have the day of the week, the month spelled out, the day and year, and then the time in the format that I specified in the code. And if I enter other values, say 50, 65, as I continue to do that, it's going to place the date and time in the cell. If I go back and delete a value, so I go back and delete the 65, it's going to delete that time, that date and time from column D. I hope you found this video on recording the date and time when a cell value is changed in Excel to be useful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to assist you.